Hello everybody, today we're going to test what many consider to be two of the best security products, Kaspersky and Bitdefender. As you can tell, I've got two virtual machines running side by side, and we're going to hit both of them with a ton of cyber attacks, and we're going to see which system ends up not compromised, or at least compromised. We've got over 2,000 malware samples that we've just collected from the wild west of the internet, ranging all the way from ransomware to PUP. And as you can see, we have two systems, one running Bitdefender on the left and one running Kaspersky on the right. And we're going to automate the execution of these samples on both of these systems. So we're going to bombard both of these systems with all of this malware and we're going to see what happens, which one gets the least infected, let's say. So we're gonna run uh, the same command on both. So here we go, let's get testing. As you can see, they're both blocking samples. It seems like uh, Bitdefender had a bit of a um, head start. It seems to be going a little bit quicker, but I'm going to leave this running and we're going to see what executes, what happens on each of these systems. Looks like something's running on the Bitdefender end. As you can see, we're getting alerts galore on both of these. Some things are running. We've also got behavioral detections where Bitdefender is analyzing the attack chain, blocking it. We've got Kaspersky saying crypto jacking attempts are being prevented. It's actually very, very competitive on both sides, as you can see. We've got a detection rate of 97.42 on Bitdefenders and 97.9. So it's actually very close, too close to call, in fact. They're so close, like Kaspersky was ahead a second ago. And um, now Bitdefender took the lead for a few seconds and now Kaspersky's in the lead again. So this is so close. It's, it's too close to call, guys. This is like watching a sports match. We need people cheering on live chat here. I, I wasn't expecting this to be so much fun, but here we go. All right, both tests are finally complete and we have a detection ratio of 96.89% on Bitdefender's side and 96.23% on Kaspersky's side. And we've got this uh, perpetual installation going on on Bitdefender's side, which is really annoying me because this is one of those Windows XP style progress bars that goes to the end and you think it's about to complete and then it goes all the way to the start again. But putting that aside, I have to say that these results are well within what I would call the margin of error considering the samples we're testing are automatically collected. I obviously haven't checked each and every one of them manually to make sure they're all malware there could be false positives in there and as you can see it could come down to something as small as whether or not one of the programs is going to block things like a particular packing mechanism so in this case it seems kaspersky does not block the enigma protected applications from starting but then maybe system watcher kicks in and they are blocked on execution now the detection ratio is only based on what is blocked from executing. So if something runs, it is considered as a miss. It is very much possible that either of these applications, like in this case, System Watcher, could observe the behavior of the application and then block it. But now we're actually going to restart both of these systems and assess what actually happened and see if anything got through, if there's any lasting damage on either side. And I feel that's more important. So here we go. All right, both systems have been restarted and we've done some second opinion scans. We've also done some forensics, so let's get to the results. Now, Bitdefender first. We have a lot of detections in Hitman Pro, but these are all temporary files. All of them are in local temp. We've got some tracking cookies in addition to that. So nothing serious, just a bunch of traces left over from executing all of that malware. Nothing running, nothing active. Nothing found by Norton Power Racer. So that's Bitdefender. Now, moving on to Kaspersky. We only have one detection in the temp folder, but we have three other detections, one of which is running on the system. So we decided to investigate this particular sample because it was also 
detected by Norden Power Razor. Both of these seem to be related and they seem to be part of an Enigma protector application. And we did a scan on Varstol and it's got quite a few detections. But what's important to note is that all of these detections pretty much are based on the same factor, which is the packing technique. So it doesn't say anything about what the application does, but more attackers often use tools like the Enigma protector to hide their actual malware. And it is that hiding technique that everybody seems to be detecting and just saying, whoa, 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 this is using the Enigma protector. We're just gonna flag it right away. Now, if we go over to the actual application and run it, this is what happens, right? So it says this software is protected with a demo version of the Enigma protector. And if we open Process Explorer, as you can see, this process has a lot of detections on Varstol because like I said, it's the Enigma protector commonly used by malware to obfuscate the application itself. But if we go ahead and continue to execution, the process terminates after a while. Now also check this particular tool inside of Kaspersky's intrusion prevention module, and it seems to be low restricted, which means if it were to make a network connection, it would ask the user. So it is highly likely that this application is not able to do anything malicious, but we will report it to Kaspersky in either case to investigate. But for now, those are the results. Needless to say, I think both products did really well. We have no serious infections in either side, but I think we did notice a minor difference in the approach of Kaspersky and the Defender, and that is Kaspersky typically is more precise about detections. It allows more stuff to execute, to observe the behavior. So if you run an uncommon application, something that's packed, maybe some kind of custom code, Kaspersky is more likely to allow you to execute it, whereas something like Bitdefender, it just errs on the side of caution and it just blocks everything that may potentially be malicious. So that's a little bit of a difference in the way these products work based on my observations. So there you have it. Those are the final results for Kaspersky versus Bitdefender. Please like and share this video if you enjoyed it. As you know, these kinds of comparisons are very rare. It takes a lot of work to put all the factors together and try to make a very accurate and fair comparison. So I really appreciate your support. Don't forget to subscribe to the PC Security channel. This is Leo. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.